Okay, thank you for uh, tuning in to this video 3.5 max number Codeo challenge. So in this challenge, we will pass in a list of numbers. Your job is to find the largest number in that list and output its index location, not the actual value. Tip, you will need to use a utility variable to store the maximum value and a decision to see if each number is bigger than the current maximum value encountered in the previous iteration. So <clears throat> the list they're giving us is here numbers equals and and you know we I've done this so you can see that that's the input they give us but assume you don't see that. So in the list they give us uh, we're going to go through each iteration and check the value and then move to the next iteration and check the value. So we have to have a, a, a starting point for the value that we're going to check. So what we're going to do is we're going to call that starting point max i for maximum index value. And we're going to set it at zero because we do not know what the maximum value is. So we're going to just set it at zero. And then after setting that maximum value, our starting point, and this is what they're calling the utility variable, this utility variable, that max i is the utility variable. It's, it's a variable that allows us to check each iteration. And then if the value of the index uh, is greater than the previous, it will, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and tell this code to replace it and make the max i the new value, the new index location. So the next step is going to be creating the for loop. So we're gonna say for i in range <clears throat> and we're going to use the length function here. And the reason we're going to use the length function is uh, we do not know how many values they're going to pass into this list. If we use the length function, we know that it will check each value in the list. So if they put 50 numbers in there, it'll check 50 numbers. If it's three, it'll check three. So we use that length function to ensure that we're checking every value in the numbers list. So that's why we're using the length function. Okay. Now, now we ask the question. We've created the loop, so we're saying for each index location and range of the entire list of numbers, what do we what do we want to know? We want to know is the value of the iteration of that index greater than our utility variable. So we know if the first value is one, obviously it's going to be greater. So we know it's going to change it. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to say if numbers i in that list is greater than numbers max i then just replace it with the new index location so make max i equal to i so we're saying iterate through the loop checking e each index location and if the index location is greater then what we've created here, our initial utility variable, if it's greater than that, then replace that max i with the new index location. And it'll loop through all these, it'll loop through this entire length of numbers and then going through each one and <coughs> replacing the index location with the greatest value when it finds it so then all we have to do is print out max i so we're just going to say print 
max. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and check it. And everything's good. So what what we know is, is the very first iteration that came through this for loop was the number one. And so we know that that first iteration became was was greater than max i valued at zero. So the first time it goes through this loop, it's it's location zero, and then the next time it's the same, it's the same, it's the same until it gets to the fourth index where you see the number two. So that two is greater than, and so it's going to replace it, and then it's going to print the location. And the location is four. So if you remember the first value here in this index is zero. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, two is in the fourth location. And that's why you have the output of four. So as always, thank you for watching these videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me emails, feel free to comment. I appreciate uh, all the people that have subscribed to these videos and if you like the videos please like the videos i appreciate everybody that's uh, watching these and thank you again